Do complex legal issues hold you back? Let's get energized and bring clarity to your top legal questions. This is Law Talk with the Flock by Guzman Law Firm. I'm your host, Gina Guzman, a CEO, lawyer, author, and woman business owner here to help navigate you through the law and your business and life as a leader. For today's episode, I'm going to discuss the tax cuts that are expected to expire at the end of 2025 and what you should be doing today to help protect your assets. So what am I talking about? Back in 2017, Congress enacted the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act, and that law has certain provisions of it that are going to expire or sunset. And because of that, there's some planning that some people should be thinking about doing now in order to prepare for those um, tax cuts to expire, because when they're temporary and they expire, the taxes are going to go back up. So in particular, I really want to focus on the lifetime gift and estate tax exemption and try and explain that. First of all, who's affected? These are individuals with $5 million in net worth and couples that have at least $10 million in net worth. And younger taxpayers could also be affected if they have high incomes or they are high earners, high growth potential for uh, future wealth. And they currently today, I would say, have around $3 million in net worth as an individual or $6 million as a couple. They could also be affected as their estates continue to grow in the future. So what's changing? Under the current tax cuts, there is a lifetime gift and a state tax exemption uh, that is doubled. And today, the lifetime gift and estate tax exemption is approximately $13.61 million for individuals. And then if you're married, you get twice that. So $27.22 million for couples. And once the sunset takes a effect, so at the end of 2025, that lifetime estate and gift exemption is going to be cut back to approximately in half. So at that point in time, we're going to be looking around six and a half million for an individual or around 13 million for a couple. So this is a big impact because it's going to catch a lot more people that have a net worth when they pass away in those ranges. So first of all, I think it's important to understand what is an exemption. So if you pass away and in 2025, you're an individual and you have $10 million when you pass and your exemption is six and a half million, there's going to be three and a half million dollars subject to federal estate tax or gift tax if you've already gifted away uh, more than that exemption amount uh, during your lifetime. So it's going to catch a lot more people because the exemption is going to be lower and then anything that's not exempt gets taxed. And I think it's helpful to know as well that the estate tax exemption and the gift tax exemption, those dollars match. So that can be confusing for people as well. So if you're an individual or you're part of a couple and you're in that high net worth category, there are certain plans and steps that you can take today. And that can save your family or your estate uh, millions of dollars when you pass away if you're in that um, high threshold as far as what we're looking at that could be taxed in the future. Uh, the clock is ticking. So the end of 2025 might seem like it's far away. Hey, Gina, it's only 2024. Uh, why do we need to be thinking about this right now? Well, here's the deal. A lot of these things are what we call use it or lose it opportunities. So today you have the ability to gift under today's exemption laws, but after this law sunsets, uh, you're not going to be able to use your full exemption anymore because it's going to be cut in half. And many of the plans that we put in place are called advanced plans. Uh, we do advanced estate planning at the Guzman Law Firm, and those plans take time. Frequently, you have to get appraisals. You have to file gift tax returns. You've got to coordinate a lot of people. Uh, you've got to understand what the plan is. You have decisions to make, and that, that takes coordination and time in order to get that all put together. Usually advanced plans tend to take 12 to 18 months uh, for families to put together for themselves. So given that we only have less than 24 months until this law sunsets, 
there is some urgency around this at this point in time. And I think it's important for people to think about and to know about. So I wanted to make sure that we highlighted that for everybody. And I appreciate you listening to the podcast today. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a great day. Go make it worth it. Thanks for joining us for Law Talk with the Flock by Gooseman Law Firm. We hope you feel energized and ready to soar past your goals. Become a Flock fan and subscribe to our podcast for weekly episodes. Learn more at goosemanlaw.com.